Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Chet Ubecho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a Chetatorial. A Pennsylvania couple, Brian Warder, 51, and Erica Wishard, 48, drowned after being swept away by a rip current off Hutchinson Island, Florida. They were swimming with their teens who managed to escape the current and attempted rescue but had to swim ashore for safety. Despite rescue efforts, the couple could not be saved. The family of eight was on vacation, and the children who witnessed the tragedy are under the care of the Martin County Sheriff's Crisis Intervention Team. Rip currents, which can swiftly carry even strong swimmers away, account for over 80% of beach rescues. Another evolving story? Steve Bannon filed an emergency appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court to avoid prison for his contempt of Congress conviction. Ordered to surrender by July 1st for a four-month sentence, Bannon's attorney argued for his release, highlighting the proximity to the November presidential election. Bannon, sentenced in October 2022 for defying a subpoena from the John Eard Six Committee, had his jail term delayed pending appeal. After a federal appeals court upheld his conviction in May, prosecutors demanded he start his sentence. Bannon claims this is an attempt to shut down the MAGA movement and grassroots conservatives. In other developments, a Massachusetts mother is suing Glover Elementary School and its employees for allegedly restraining her eight-year-old son multiple times, including with a gym mat, causing severe trauma. The boy, part of the METCO integration program, was restrained despite regulations prohibiting such actions for medical reasons like asthma. The lawsuit claims the school staff's methods were improper and racially motivated, leading to severe emotional distress and physical harm. Four employees were placed on leave, and the district initiated an investigation, unveiling new policies to prevent future incidents. An uplifting piece of news, a former news anchor, Karen Swenson, organized a fundraiser for 90-year-old Air Force veteran Dylan McCormick after finding him pushing carts in a Louisiana grocery store's parking lot. McCormick, struggling to make ends meet on his Social Security, took the job to earn an extra $2,500 monthly. Swenson's video and GoFundMe campaign quickly amassed over $200,000, enabling McCormick to retire. Swenson highlighted the importance of supporting veterans and announced the start of fund transfers, ensuring McCormick's financial security and offering him the freedom to work by choice. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale.